Welcome everyone. In this video, we will be finding the derivatives of uh, cosine of theta and sine of theta. And to do that, we will be using physics. Yeah, you heard it right. We will be using physics. And we will be uh, dealing with uniform circular motion in particular. So what is uniform circular motion? It is a very simple concept. It is saying that we have a circle here. I know, yeah, it looks like a circle. Uh, we have a circle here, and we have an object right here. Uh, it has a velocity of v, and if this is the center of our uh, circle, it has an it has a position vector, which we can call r. So, a uniform circular motion is such that the magnitude of our velocity vector, which is the speed, uh, does not change, right? In a circle, we are always changing direction, but if our speed is constant, then we are in circular motion. I mean, we are in uniform circular motion. So uniform circular motion uh, gives us an equation. It says that the magnitude of our velocity vector, which I will call v in short, right? the magnitude of our velocity vector, I called it v, uh, the speed, in other words. Uh, and in circular motion, in uniform circular motion, v is equal to 2 pi r over capital T. And here, r is, as you probably can guess, it is the radius of our circle, or we can say it is the magnitude of our position vector and t here the capital t is time taken to complete one revolution simple enough right this is what we get for v it is equal to 2 pi r over t so before proceeding further i want to def define our coordinates uh, we will have x and y like this and i want to introduce some geometry here geometry if we have a horizontal line here i want to call this angle theta and of course if we draw a line parallel this is theta as well and you might not know this but in circular motion in uniform circular motion or in uh, yeah in uniform circular motion position vector and the velocity vector are perpendicular to each other so the angle here, this red angle, is 90 degrees. It is a right angle. So uh, this part is 90 degrees minus theta. Now we have everything set to prove, uh, to find the derivatives of cosine of theta and sine of theta. What we can do is, we can start by saying, Let's express the components of our position vector. What are its components? Where it, well, it has, since we are in uh, 2D, it has two components. It has Rx in the x hat direction and Ry in the y hat direction. Well, what is Rx? Rx is simply equal to R times the cosine of theta, right? Okay, and what about Ry? And Ry is similarly equal to R times sine of theta. And we can do the same thing for our velocity vector. Our velocity vector. Uh, it, of course, has two components as well. And what is Vx? Well, it is a little bit trickier here, because as you can see from the orientation that we have drawn, Vx, which will be this part, right? This will be Vx. It is in the negative x direction. So we put a negative here. We put a negative here. And we put the magnitude of our, uh, of our velocity vector, V, the speed. And we have cosine of... 90 degrees 
minus theta. Uh, let's simplify this uh, expression inside of the cosine. What is uh, the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta? Uh, as you might know, it is equal to the sine of uh, theta. So we have negative v sine of theta. And if we do the same thing for the y component of our velocity vector, we have, well, this time we are in the positive direction, right? Because this part is Vy. This is uh, in the positive y direction. So we just put V times this time sine of 90 degrees minus theta. And sine of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine of theta. So I write it like this. I hope that until this part it is clear and now we will be doing some some algebra to uh, to arrive at the derivatives of cosine of theta and sine of theta so i will switch well before switching let's remember something uh, or let's learn something if you don't know it already the definition of velocity is this it is the time derivative of position or you might uh, hear it as, as said it is the change in position divided by the change in time but this is the formal definition and if we consider this in one uh, in one direction particularly we can say that vx is equal to drx over dt and we can also say that Vy is equal to dRy over dt, right? So we will be using these two equations, these two, to find the derivatives of cosine of theta and sine of theta. So let's switch to another page. What did we say? We said that Vx is equal to the derivative of Rx with respect to t dt so let's look at what we have well we have already said that rx is equal to r times cosine of theta so let's substitute this and we say d dt r times cosine of theta right i just substituted what we have and you, we know that r here is a constant, so we can take it out of the derivative. We can take it out. And we have this. Now, this, in this part, we will use the chain rule. And the chain rule tells us that, well, it, it basically says that instead of taking the derivative of cosine of theta with respect to time, Take the derivative of cosine of theta with respect to theta, then multiply it with the derivative of theta with respect to time. Which means that we will write this part as this. Derivative of cosine of theta with respect to theta and d theta over dt. Okay, this is what we get from the chain rule. And if you don't know it, uh, you can review it, look how you can learn about it. It is very, very useful and we need to use it here. So we, will, we want to simplify this expression, d theta dt, this one. Well, what can we say about it? We know that we are using uniform circular motion in our proof. So... Uh, at a given time, our object, our mass, will travel the same distance, uh, the same angle, right? So, we know that uh, since we said capital T is time needed to travel around the circle once, then dt over d, d theta over dt <laughs> will just be equal to 2 pi over t, right? This will be just equal to r, well, let me do it like this, 
we have the still and instead of d theta dt i will be writing 2 pi over t because as i said we are in uniform circular motion so we can say instead of d theta over dt we can write 2 pi t and let's simplify this a little bit not simplify but let's make this look a little nicer hmm we have something familiar here what is 2 pi r divided by t it is our speed right it is the speed so let's substitute it we have v and we still have the derivative of cosine of theta with respect to theta but look at what well, look what we have we have already shown that v of x not v of x i mean vx is equal to negative v times sine of theta we have already shown this so we can say that this is this quantity is also equal to negative v times sine of theta which means that v times the derivative of cosine of theta with respect to theta is equal to negative v sine of theta of course here we simplify by v we simplify by v great and we have that the derivative of cosine of theta with respect to theta is equal to negative sine of theta. And this is actually right. This is actually correct. Hooray, we are done. We are halfway done. And let's, oops, I made a mistake. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let me highlight it one more time. We are almost done. But now we want to do, we want to find the derivative of sine of theta. And I will show how it is done, but it is done in a very similar fashion. So if you would like, please go ahead and stop the video and try to figure it out yourself. Then you can continue watching it. Okay, I assume that you tried it yourself. So let me show it to you. Now we will use the velocity in the y direction. And I will make this step. I will do this calculations a little faster because it, as i said it is very very similar to the one that we did we have this and what was r y r y was equal to r sine of theta so i substitute that in r sine of theta and here we again take the r outside we again use the chain rule to Uh, write this part as d sine of theta over d theta times d theta over dt and now what we can do is we will say that we have r times the derivative of sine of theta with respect to theta uh, times well times d theta uh, dt what is that as we discussed it is just equal to 2 pi t because the speed is constant we are using uniform circular motion this gives us 2 pi rt times d sine theta d theta of course 2 pi r over t is equal to velocity i mean speed the magnitude of our velocity vector times d sine of theta d theta and we oh i will need to switch to another page so let's do it we said that v y is equal to okay v y is equal to this and at the beginning of this video we have we oops we showed that v y is also equal to v cosine of theta so I write it as well, v cosine of theta. Here we see that, let's forget about this part now. We see that we cancel v's and we are left with 
d sine of theta d theta is equal to cosine of theta. And this is it. We found the derivative of cosine and sine using physics. I think it is great to do a mathematical proof uh, by using physics. Uh, I really like this proof when I saw this in a physics class. Uh, it was actually it was an online lecture by Professor Professor Nihat Berker. Yeah. So yeah, that is in his lecture. I saw this proof and I said I have to share this with more people, and I just did share it with more people. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you learned something. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them in the comment section below. Uh, I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.